breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unknown gunmen now known. They are heroes who kill for human organs. Solodo reviews. Unknown gunmen now known. They are heroes who kill for human organs. Soludo reviews. To so my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. After wrecking a work in various communities in a number of states, for several months during which many people were kidnapped, killed, and sometimes beheaded, many of the so-called unknown gunmen have at last become known. Many of them was dreaded camps in the thick forest in the state, have been raided and destroyed, have been, have been run in their mouth, and narrating their escapades, signifying that they too are, after all, mere human beings. In space of one year, no fewer than 30 persons, including security operatives, lost their lives through the activities of the unknown gunmen. Many police stations and operational security vehicles were also burnt by the gunmen during the operations. The situation was so bad that the November 2021 governorship election in Anambra State was threatened such that the electoral umpire, INEC, almost muted the idea of suspending the election it was at the height of the unknown gunman, Sagal, in the state that doc- Dr. Chiki Akunili, the husband of the late Professor Dora, Dora Akunili, was killed. Akunili was felt at Unpol in Demili by gunmen after attending a program in Onisha, where he picked a posthumous award of his late wife. Other killings by the unknown gunmen were to follow, including those of the lawmaker representing Governor Chukuma Soludo in the State House of Assembly, Dr. Lokechuku Okoye, a former member of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Nelson Achuku, a woman and her four children who were killed at UGA, and an Onisha-based man, Sapolinos Umbanugo. When Governor Chukuma Soludo assumed office, he could not settle down properly, properly, properly for work immediately because no day passed without stories of gunmen burning police stations and attacking local government headquarters or killing people. Many communities had to inform their relations, residing outside the state not to come home until the situation improves. Realization that no meaningful achievement could be recorded under such a situation, Soludo swore to recover the state to recover the state first before going into the execution of his promised programs for the people and so the battle began first he revived the number of vigilante group and empowered them to be able to face the usually heavily armed gunmen from all indications results of the governor's action are positively showing. 
recently recently eight persons suspected to be connected with the murder and beheading of the late honorable Okechukul Okoye, the lawmaker representing Governor Soludo's Aguata Constituency 11, and his aide were arrested by security operatives. Few others have also been picked and they are assisting security operatives in locating the camps in the forest. In this forest, such items including coffins, charms, dangerous drugs, women, cars of all mix and large sums of money were common features. Following the routing and smoking out of these gunmen from their camps in the forest, normalcy is gradually returning to the various communities. The routing started with the destruction of one of the most dreaded camps located in the thick forest along the bank of Oseakwa River bordering Ihiala and Oguaniocha in Odbaro local government area where the supposed king where the supposed king of the gunmen popularly known as Double Lion El Tsui. On the day he and four of his members were killed, Double Lion didn't see it coming as they were easily gunned down by their breakaway colleagues who have since repented and are now working for the state. It was gathered that they had to eliminate Double Lion and his gang because they jettisoned the original plan by extorting and harassing people during weddings, burials and other ceremonies. Double Lion who hailed from Aoi Demeli in also local government area of Imo State began his gun activities along the now abandoned Aukal Etiti, Utul Ukpolo Sumogu Lilu Mumbosi Iseke Axis, which used to be the connecting route between Anambra and other states of Imo, Abia, Akwa Ibom, and Cross River states because of the traffic gridlock along the Onisha Oweri Road. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is on.